So we've looked up at the fact with enough DIs, different parts of the world, that every targeted individual has an ASN number. So this is the gobbledygook for all of the, what it means to have an ASN number. So in a nutshell, when you have an ASN number, you're registered either as a business corporation or as a government entity. All right. So I'll paste in the description box what this stuff is. What is a peer? Okay, so a peer is associated as having a relationship with the corporation or the business. So it can be, it's a customer, right? It's an individual, blah, blah. So you can read this so in computer networking. Peering is a voluntary interconnection of administratively separate internet work networks for the purpose of exchanging traffic between the users of each network. Peer definition of peering is settlement free, also known as bill and keep or senders keep all. Okay, so that's peering. So upstream peers. A transit peer is someone who you go through in order to reach the internet. You transit their network to reach other networks. Many folks use the term upstream provider when talking about someone they buy their internet from. Okay, so now that we know that, let's try to get our ASN number. So we're going to go to, oops, we're going to go to here. So we're going to go to this ipinfo.io and, you know, when you land on the page, you go down in the right-hand corner and you look for your ASN number, which is right here. So now you've got your ASN number. What do you do with it? So we're going to sweep over it, right-click, we're going to copy it. We're going to go and populate it into here. I'm in Canada, so you can find all kinds of information on the fact that you are an apparent corporate entity. Oh, yes. This is highly illegal, but, you know, we'll go further into this. So I have all of these organizations as my business. This is my business number. I don't have a business. I don't have a corporation. But, you know, I only have one provider. Or do I? So we're going to click on Bell Canada. We're going to go, what's going on here? What is all this gobbledygook? Well, these are providers in different regions. So you keep peeling back the layers. Once you peel back the layers, you find out that in each one of those other sub layers, I'm on an international network system. It's very specific. It's A pages. So on this column, it shows you peer, provider, peer, provider. So the providers are directly involved with you, and the peers have a relationship with you. Isn't that neat? And this Encapsula one is a customer. So Encapsula, <laughs> I, isn't this amazing? So we're going to go back, try to keep this simple, knowing now that we are in a global system as a targeted individual. So you're going to look at these and you're going to peel each layer back. These are all the people involved with your stocking. Okay, so this hospital implanted me. They're directly involved. Nice to know that they're one of my customers in this fraudulent scheme. So here's Merlin. Who's Merlin? What's Merlin? Wow. Create a sense. Who's Merlin? Let's check out who Merlin is. Since, you know, he's one of my customers. So Merlin is a patient care network. Okay. So here's my patient care network. Um, they've inserted something into my heart. They've been heart testing me, my partner, my sister, my mother. Goes further. Okay. So now I know that this is, you know, they've put stuff inside my body. They want to call me crazy. And especially this hospital, okay, that we've gone to for help has the nerve to say that we are have mental health issues, but they're one of my customers. 
Isn't this interesting? And I'm registered as a you know, business corporation. Isn't this sickening? So this goes on. Look at this. Manitoba e-hill. I didn't know Manitoba e-hill was um, one of my customers. Isn't this interesting? Look at that. Remote access digital health health providers. Okay, so they, um, they're they utilizing me on remote health access on shared networks. Shared networks on my medical information because I've been in a non-consenting study for a very long time, so has my family. But, you know, some of these entities that are my customers are very interesting of who's involved. Now, the Manitoba Agricultural Services Corporation Canada is actually a Cisco hacking group, okay, that was retained by the government of Canada. They pay for them to hack out all Canadians. Yeah, I'm not supposed to know that. I came across that accidentally. So let's take a look at this, you know, one of my customers. Isn't this interesting? So, since they're going to kill me, I'm going to show everybody in the world how I have a wonderful relationship with all of my customers as a corporate, as m myself, as a corporate entity, as they human traffic me globally for medical experimentation with non consenting RFID in my brain and throughout my body and my mother's and my sister's. My mother has sustained brain damage. Okay. This has been going on to us for since I've been 16. I am 48 years old. Now, how does the Canadian Museum for Human Rights relate to me as a customer? Let's explore this. How does this happen? How does the Canadian Museum for Human Rights engage in, as a customer for me, Bell, Voyo Net Inc., Mr. Net. Who's that? Who's that? Who's Mr. Net? Who's Mr. Net? Now, you got to question an entity that participates in non-consenting RFID. Clearly, they, I believe they are fully aware of this situation of non-consenting RFID inside my brain legs, body, and that's the Canadian Museum for Human, Human Rights. How much sense does that make? Okay, so, you know, we've looked at that one, we've looked at that one, we've looked at them. These are, these are all also interconnected to insurance companies when you start peeling back further layers. So, who's Rhymer World Corporation? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. We're going to have to find out who Rhymer World Corporation is. Rhymer World Corporation. Let's peel back some layers. Who is... Who is this? Who's this Rhymer World Corporation? Okay. Who is this? Who is this person? Let's look up who the Rhymer World Corp is. Since, you know... Apparently, they're one of my customers. This is life insurance fraud, I believe. Um, human trafficking. This is modern day human trafficking. Isn't this interesting? Every targeted individual in Canada will find this hierarchy. The primary player, players, you know, will change, you know, in this schematic here. But you are in a global network, so when you peel back your you know, systems here shows you you're on this global, global network, which every targeted individual in the world is on this global network. So who's Rhymer? What is this? Okay, menu, Dunn and Bradstreet, Rhymer World Corp, so Winnipeg. Ooh. KRRGlobalCorporation.com. 
Oh, what are they? Business, sector, industry, 40 employees. I don't know what this is at all. I have not a clue. I'm thinking, you know, this needs more investigation. You know, who is this? Don't know. We'll see. But they're, you know, they have income of ten and a half million a year. You know, maybe they're, you know, an interconnected uh, medical entity or, you know, maybe just, you know, an insurance company. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to move on from this. I've showed you some of the people um, targeting me. Whoever Monarch Industry is. Who's Monarch? Who's Monarch Industries? Let's check this out. Custom Castings and Machining Division. Okay, what what am I experimenting? Being experimented with them or you know, are they just one of the companies that took insurance out of me? I don't know. This needs uh, an international investigation. I Today is the 4th of July. Uh, the United States is celebrating their birth, and I'm celebrating absolutely not a hell of a lot. I am pretty disappointed uh, that these are all my customers and that I am a registered business. Clearly, the Internet service provider would have had to apply for the registered business number for me because I'm not a business. Okay, TIs, we're going to move on. So you, this is another uh, mass database. Um, you can look for your ASN number in here. Mine's not in here. I guess I'm slated to be, to be dead. So another thing you can search is you're in the global hurricane, you know, the hurricane electric internet services. All of the peers are listed in a hierarchy, so you can go through everything in here. I'm going to post this link. So here's, you know, another option for peering database. I think this one's global, or no, this one is a um, United Kingdom one. Yeah, this is the United Kingdom one. So I'm going to post the links to these, and um, I'm going to tag, you know, uh, some of my... Um, you know, customers. I mean, my customers should know that they're my customers, right? The city of Winnipeg should know that they're my customer. That they have me, you know, on uh, on medical monitoring. I wonder what my customers are, you know, buying for me. Is it life insurance I'm selling or is it just my body? Clearly, it's just my body. You know? This has been going on for a couple of decades, and now it's gone violent. So this is not all your local players, your tiny players, the ones that deploy the weapons at you. That's a whole different aspect that we'll cover off in another video on another day. So you need to make this global, targeted individuals, because... This is criminal activity. And a lot of people are participating in it right across the world in cybernetic, big pharma, whatever, scientific studies, blah, blah. And it's pretty horrifying. At least now I know why this hospital, you know, wants to call my, wants to call all of us crazy and not provide us with service in removing RFID from our body. Yeah. Is this disappointing? Okay, that's the uh, that's the end of this clip. I can try to get out of here.